The point was that I specifically asked uh, one of the uh, members of the cabinet in uh, CBU, I say, well, what is the government doing to help the gypsy community? Well, the government does this, this, and this. They have representation in parliament now by law. Uh, and the people who are begging on the streets and living in the shanty towns don't want to leave because they feel it's part of their culture. Is that a fair statement? You can get locked into a way of life that you can't get out of. A lot of people confuse Romani culture with the culture of poverty. Poverty is a culture, but it's universal. You go to Rio and find the same mm. thing. Um, in Romania and in much of Eastern Europe, the Roma are Vlach Roma. That means they descend from that part of our population that were slaves something that Romanian government tried to hide for so long that for 550 years Roma were held as slaves in Romania when you have been <coughs> dehumanized for that length of time in fact the entire up until the middle of the 19th century the entire European experience of Roma. When our ancestors crossed over from Anatolia into Europe, they may have been slaves of the Ottomans already, but the population really is a Western population of Asian origin. That's another important point. The language you speak, our culture, some of our genetics is Asian, not European and yet we only really exist in the West. So it's a square peg in a round hole. I keep saying that, that's my cliche. Um, if you are property, if every single thing you have is provided from outside, the man or woman you're put with is selected for you and can be taken away from you. The woman that you love, the owner can come and take her away, sleep with her, take your kids away, the food you eat, clothes on your back, all provided. If the only status as a slave that you can get in your own slave community is by, not by owning riches and so on, but by having some skill, perhaps, maybe a good storyteller, maybe you've got a good singing voice. The only extra things you can get, material things, you either steal them or you curry favor with your owner, with the man. This is a legacy, the, the slave mentality that Vlach Roma carry with them. I'm not Vlach Roma. My people are going by Hungary, not Romania. But most of my friends are Vlach. Their behavior. carries with it the slave mentality. Our problems were imposed upon us from outside. We had no reason to feel loyal to the outside world. The, wor the word we use for the non romani world is yado. It also means hell. Vlach Roma will acquire status within the Romani population by gathering titles and cred credentials from outside. A lot of Roma here get deputy sheriff badges and so on and, and flaunt them. It's in Texas. In, te okay. well, in the United uh, States. In the um, big cars, you go in the house, there's nothing. But outside, Cadillac, and mm. the front room of the house will look like a palace, but you go 
in the back rooms, it's empty. Um, you see these massive great homes in some parts of Romania. <coughs> yeah, with the silver uh, steeples. Yeah, but it's all cheap, mm. made with really cheap materials. It looks flashy, mm. but there's not a lot of substance there. But it doesn't matter. It's got a wearing gold, gold everything, you know. Mm. Um, this is a legacy, and it doesn't help with self-sufficiency. What we have to do is have our own lawyers, our own teachers. Instead of going with our hand out, we're never going to get respect if we're always asking for help. 